Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create the HTML report of our test cases and we will learn how we can automate the test cases using Selenium and unit test. Here I will create some test cases and then we will generate the report. So here I will create a new module. Let's say generate report generate HTML report. So first of all, we will create the test cases using unit test. So you have to import unit test first. And then I will import selenium because it's also needed here from selenium import web driver. After that, I will import time also. So import time. Now we will create a test case. Let's say I have a class. The class name is we can say my test suit. And here I will inherit unit test dot test cases here. So first method is you have to inherit def setup. So this is a method you have to inherit from test case class. So setup method says you can make the setup first here. Let's say if you want to open a driver, so like this. So self dot driver. This is the object we are creating and using web driver. Here I will use Chrome. So here we are creating the driver any initialization if you want to do you can use setup method which is defined inside test case class so if i will go here f3 and you can see here this is a test case class and this class contains lots of properties and this is in it there is a console i will make some outline also so this is outline using outline we can check what are the functionality provided these are the methods you can see here test case is a class and this is the setup method this is for initialization purpose and this is tear down so we will work with tear down as well we are initializing the driver so let's assume we are creating a test case def test underscore get title self i will create a private variable driver dot self i will assign the same object to the private variable now it becomes a private variable driver and here i will use try block why because we are going to load it now so let's say driver dot get so you can load any url here http double slash www.ui5cn.com so here i'm loading the url and same way whatever we did in starting uh, i'm handling the exception here so accept exception as ex and i will print the exception here after that here i will use else clause and inside else clause I will wait for some time so let's say time dot sleep let's say for 10 seconds and here we are going to create the test case whatever title it returns it should match with the title so let's say i will write here my title and uh, ui 5 cn so this is a hard-coded value here but in actual case we are not doing hard-coded things we are making excel sheets or text file and from there we will grab so in future we will work with excel sheet and uh, we will use data driven technology keyword driven technology and key hybrid approach then we can use self dot assertion error so assertion assert equals so first one is i'm calling driver dot title which is written by driver and here the second will be my title so i am going to match with this 
and if it fails then print some message let's say not matching done we will not use finally because we are having a different method that is called tear down so tear down method says first case will execute after that it will close the driver so if you want to quit or close the driver you can use inside tear down method so tear down and setup method is method of test case and we are inheriting these methods and this is a uh, test underscore get underscore title method got created by us so here i use 3t http now we will run this program so let's i will create a checkpoint if name underscore underscore equals here underscore underscore main and here i will run unit test dot main so if i will run this program you see the output python run okay Chrome got started. It got loaded now. UI5CN.com. It will wait for some time, and you can see the console run and now I need to append the result in HTML. This is very simple. You can use HTML test runner. So HTML test runner. So you will find this is HTML test runner 0.8.0. You can see here this is a download URL. And here you will get this HTML test report.py. So this module will provide the support to generate the test in HTML form. So here I will save it. Save link as. And I'm going to save in the same location inside workspace. And you can see here Selenium course. So here I'm going to save it. If I will refresh it, just refresh. So this is HTML test under dot pi. So now we have to import it. So here I will import HTML test runner. And one more line you have to add here. Instead of unit test.main, you have to use HTML test runner.main. That's it. But don't run from here. You have to go inside command prompt. And they are in the same location, CD workspace and CD selenium. Now here we will use Python and my Py module is generate HTML report. So generate HTML report and we will redirect the result inside HTML file. So let's say my report dot HTML. If I will run this code, so you can see driver got loaded and now it will send the URL ui5cn.com. It will grab the title and whatever title I have hard coded, it will match with that. So let's see inside same folder inside C workspace and here selenium course. So you will see one HTML report. So I will open it open with Google Chrome and you can see this is unit test report and here total test cases is one pass one fail zero and if I will see here details so it got pass. So now we will add one more test case. So let's say how we can add. I will make it fail now. So I will copy the complete thing. 
again and I'm gonna make it fill so title fill and here I will use instead of UI5C and something let's say Facebook which will not match with this title so let's see now for this test case so we are having now two test cases one is the past one and one is failed one so let's see how we can manage it so here I will do one more thing after this you can write something let's say print past and here it will returns error so again you can use try catch block here space here and here I will use accept exception and as ex and here I will print let's say field now I need to close this doll quotes so if I will run it again don't run from here always remember we have to redirect inside some report so I will create a HTML my report one or underscore one dot HTML and if I will run this code you will see the output so it got loaded first test case will start execution and the second gate started now again it got loaded and it will verify now the title so now you can see here failed okay so now if I will see the report so just visit the same folder here selenium course report underscore and here if i will open it with google chrome so you can see total test cases is two and both got pass so here get title so here passed and here failed so we are handling this error if i will remove this handling and then let's see because we are handling that's what it is not giving error so now if i will run this again definitely it will fail so because i'm handling it that's what it is not giving any error so html underscore two dot html and if i will run it again second case got started now so now it get load okay so now it got finished so let's see the output selenium calls my report underscore two if i will open it into google chrome so you can see total test cases is two one got pass one got fail and if i will see the fail detail here so you can see this is 
assertion error not matching so whatever we are passing here this will return the assertion error so in this way you can work for pass and fail you can create in this way the test cases and you can generate the html report with html test runner so in next video we are going to discuss about locators and developers tool to locate the locators thanks for watching